Hi, I'm Wendy Singer. I'm the owner of Tattered Angels and the creator of Glimmer Mist. I would like to show you today how to use Glimmer Mist in a very simple project that we've created here. And uh, also show you our Glimmer Screen packages. These, this specific package that we're going to be using today has three screens in it, a large, medium, and small for cards, um, corner pieces. And these corner pieces look like this, small, medium, and large. And we're going to be using the medium size. Again, this small one works great for card makers. And we're going to start by making this simple background paper. And to do that today, we're going to be creating these die cut out images out of our paper. I'm going to be using Tiger Lily and Yellow Daisy. The Glimmer Mist bottles are labeled with the colors on the back of the Glimmer Mist bottles. And these colors started as a white sticker and sprayed with the actual color. So you will be able to tell exactly what color tone you're going to be using or when you're in the stores choosing which colors to buy. That's what you need to go by is the tone of the sticker, not necessarily the color that's inside the bottle. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use, actually, let's start with yellow. I'm going to start by shaking up the Glimmer Mist. If you can see, the Glimmer Mist settles, or the shimmer part of the Glimmer Mist settles to the bottom of the bottle. What you need to do is just kind of knock that shimmer off the bottom to get it started. Remix the shimmer back up. Then we're going to start by spraying. There's several different spray techniques. If you get these dots and you don't like the dot pattern, all you need to do is take a simple, simple paper towel and wipe and start over. Okay, I'm just going to kind of lay it on, just color and spray. In order to get um, like a, a swooping motion, all I'm going to do is take that same paper towel and wipe it right back off again. And now we have our yellow part of our background. Then I'm going to put that yellow away. And I'm going to pick up the orange and again shake until that shimmer comes off the bottom of the bottle. And then I'm going to add my orange corners just a little bit so that we have a background. And again, I'm going to wipe. Now we've created a background piece of paper. I have a little bit of area that's left over, so I'm just going to go back with the yellow and fill in the white areas. Okay, background piece of paper. Then what I'm going to do is take my corner piece and I'm going to set it right down there. And we're going to create this dark, bright orange decals. And the way that I do that is I lay my corner piece down where I'd like it. I'm just going to hold it down with what I like are tweezers. If you have any kind of pen, pencil sitting around, that works fine too. I'm just going to lightly mist it and then give it a second to soak into the paper. Then I'm going to pick it up with my tweezers and we now have a pattern in our background. That's how you use the screens as a screened area. Now what I'd like to do is show you how to stamp with the glimmer screens. So what we're going to do is, here's our Glimmer screen that we started off with. I'm just going to coat it, pick up the Glimmer screen, the tweezers, which can be difficult sometimes. Let's just use fingers here. Pick it up, and then I'm going to lightly pick it up, kind of shake off the little dots that are stuck on there. I'm going to pick it up, move it over, and I'm going to lay it down, and you can see how that comes soaks right into the paper. If there's any areas that are not saturated, just give it a little tap. Give it a second to soak into the paper. Then we're going to pick that screen right up and move it aside. And now we have a stamped image. What I like to do is go ahead and give that a little bit of a heat. And you don't have to heat set this. You just let it set out and dry. All I'm doing is using a little bit of heat to speed up the drying process. I 
think that's good. And now uh, what we're going to do or what we did in this case is just put your paper down and use an AccuCut to die cut those images out. And that's where we came up with this pattern background right here on this piece. We took um, the solid areas and cut out the background of the flowers and this background flower here right out of this background paper. So you're, init you're just making your own personalized die cuts for a simple scrapbook page layout.